Hello everyone, we're going to solve a problem together. In this problem, we are going to be computing uh, trend percentages, okay, based on some information given. In this case, they're giving us uh, sales, cost of goods sold, and accounts receivable uh, information for the past five years, and we want to compute um, each of those uh, accounts, uh, sales, cost of goods sold, and receivables uh, based on a trend. Now, when we're computing trend percentages, our base year is always going to represent the 100% mark, so that is something to keep in mind. Now, in this first area, we are simply going to put our formula, okay? So, this is going to be uh, our analysis, analysis period sales, that we want to use right here, and we are going to be dividing that by our base year net sales. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the formulas in for all of these, and it's going to be it's going to be basically the same for all of these. In this case, we're looking at cost of goods sold, so it's going to be analysis period cost of goods sold divided by base year uh, cost of goods sold, and down here it is going to be analysis uh, period accounts receivable divided by uh, base year accounts receivable. Okay, so now we have our formula. All right, so now what we want to do is we're going to go back up here to our table, okay, and we are going to enter the appropriate balances. Okay, so for 2021, we're going to enter 282, 880. Okay, for 2020, we're going to enter 270, 800. For 2019, 252, 600. 2018, 234, 560. And for 2017, we are going to have 150,000 even. Now, you're going to notice these numbers just reflect what we see up here. Now, notice that each of these are going to be divided by the base year net sales. The base year is the earliest year presented, meaning that all of these are going to be divided by the 2017 amount of $150,000, okay? So we are going to put $150,000 in each of these spots. And what you're going to notice is something positively magical is happening over in the right column. It is automatically computing the percentage for us. Isn't that great? All right. So we are all set. In fact, just if you want to check your work here, you can do this right here. We can say, check my work, okay? And voila, we see that we are good to go so far, okay? And so we, but our answer's not complete. That means we've got more work to enter. So we're gonna go back to our question and we are gonna put the rest of the information in, okay? And we're gonna follow the same approach for cost of goods sold, 128, 200, then we are going to enter uh, 122, 0, for 2019, we have 115, 280. Uh, for 2018, we have 106, 440. And for 2017, uh, we have 67,000. Again, that base year amount, that is going to be the denominator in all of our calculations. So we're gonna enter that straight down the column, just like we did. Uh, previously for sales and again as you can see it is going to compute for us uh, the percentage and we should be all set we can go check my work and look at that we are all good to go all we have to do now is follow the exact same approach for the accounts receivable